Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name's Alexis and today I want to talk to you all about my five favourite things. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you five favourite items that I have in my home. Um, so these are items that have meaning and they have a little backstory to them as well. Recently I've been watching similar videos like this one on YouTube um, and they're normally by celebrities. I watched one with Ruth Jones in it. Ruth Jones is a writer and an actor or actress who um, starred in a TV series called Gavin and Stacey. If you live in the UK I'm sure you'll know what Gavin and Stacey is. So yeah um, and I watched her one of these and I really enjoyed it and I really enjoy watching these sorts of videos so I thought I'd share with you five of my favourite items today. So the first item that I wanted to share with you is this 12 months of happiness box. Um, in this box it has 12 months of happiness in it and then it has 12 so a dozen red roses all shaped in a heart um, and my husband bought me this for our first wedding anniversary because in the UK I'm not sure if it's the same in the US or anywhere else in the world it's always paper on the first wedding anniversary and he thought this was a really clever idea when he saw it and he decided to get it for me and I absolutely love it it currently sits on our shelves in our kitchen you can hang it up on the wall but I prefer it on the shelves and I just love looking at it every so often it just brings back happy memories of when we were first married not that we're not happily married now but you know when you're first married it's all lovely isn't it so yeah really love this item so the next item that I wanted to show you is this Googie's chef doll I'm gonna call it a Googie's chef doll um, Howard's auntie is a very talented lady and she sews and she knits lots um, and she decided for my 40th birthday to knit me this Googie chef doll which I absolutely love for those of you that don't know I actually write a blog called Googie's Kitchen Life um, and basically it's a food blog it's meant to be a food and lifestyle blog but it's more recipes than it is lifestyle to be honest and I will link it in the description box below for you um, and I also have a channel called Googie's Kitchen as well, which I will link in the description box below too. So she never says much. She doesn't say, oh, I loved your recipe or anything like that. But she must be reading some of the recipes because she made me this doll and she gave it to me at my 40th birthday party. And I absolutely love it. Um, it just makes me smile every time I see it sitting on the shelf. It now has pride of place on our kitchen shelves, along with the 12 months of happiness picture as well. The so, next item that I wanted to show you is this painting that my father did. Um, my father when I moved out of home uh, decided to move into my bedroom and use it as his art room. I think my mum was trying to get him out of the living room basically. All of his art stuff was over the dining room table at one point and then mum went into my bedroom and cut my bed up. Um, yeah literally took my bed apart and said this is now your father's art room and I was like okay then I couldn't argue so and dad when he was in there used to make used to draw and paint pictures like this one and I really liked this one when I saw it I remember going into his art room and saying dad that's a really beautiful picture and he was like really do you really like it and I said yeah it's lovely and he said do you want it and I was like oh yes please um, so now this hangs in our kitchen as well and every time I look at it, it does make me smile. I am a September born baby so I love the autumn. I love the end of summer when the weather starts to turn but it's not too cold and it's not too hot and I also love when the leaves turn brown as well. Um, I'm a definitely a uh, an August, September, October kind of person I would have to say and I really like the fact that it feels like you're going into winter but you're not quite there but you know you're going to get all nice and cosy and warm when it's cold outside so yeah this always reminds me of the autumn um, and yeah I just love it because my dad painted it for us. And the next item I want to show you is this mini didgeridoo. Um, so when I was about 24, I packed my bags and I left home and I went to Australia and I had the best year in Australia ever. 
um, and I kept this didgeridoo. It doesn't work as a didgeridoo at all, um, so it's just more of an ornament, but I really love it, and it just reminds me of my trip away to Australia. Um, I felt quite free and uh, quite at home in Australia as well, and if someone had asked me, I probably would have stayed in that country too, but they didn't, I had to leave. So yes, and this is my little souvenir. This is probably the only souvenir here I still have of Australia. Um, and this currently sits in our office upstairs. Um, you actually can't play it like a didgeridoo at all. I won't even try because they are quite hard to play, but yeah. So if I ever get the chance to go back, I might buy myself a bigger one. But for now I have this and it really reminds me of my trip to Australia. And then the final item that I absolutely love is this cookery book by Jamie Oliver. I still use this. This is the first ever cookery book I think I received. My mum bought it for me as a Christmas present when I was at university because I'd started getting into cooking at university. And my mum, she's not the greatest cook. She can cook, but she doesn't enjoy it. So she always likes to encourage other people to cook. So this was a brilliant present from her because she obviously was in trying to encourage me to cook she obviously realized that I had my father's passion for cooking and um, yeah so she bought me this cookery book and to this day as I said I still use it um, and I still find the recipes in it really helpful and we have a lot of Jamie recipes here in this house he's like our go-to chef basically when I need a bit of inspiration or I need a quick meal I'll always go to Jamie so yes love this book and um, yeah it just reminds me of university and it reminds me of my mother um, just always wanting free food basically so that was my five favorite items I have in my home and that's it from me thank you so much for watching please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below what are some of your favorite things I'd love to know and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button see you all soon bye